Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. My name is Spange. Welcome back to day eight. Um, thank you so much again for all the uh, the wonderful tips and stuff that you guys are providing, as always. Um, what the hell is a bipod mod? Increase accuracy in handling when aiming weapons. Um, I'll take the herbal antibiotics. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we did... Um, we did a buried treasure quest at the end of the last episode. I'm just handing that back in now. Let's have a look at this guy's inventory. Um, there was all these schematics and stuff that we had a look at, isn't there? Uh, some of you guys saying the compound crossbow is definitely worth it. I don't know. I don't know. It's level two. I reckon we could do better. I think we could do better than a level two compound crossbow. It is leagues above, obviously leagues above the primitive bow, but I'm still getting on okay with this thing. It's just like a, a little kind of long range uh, thing to deal with some zombies when they're out in the daylight. Um, whereas the crossbow, I would imagine, is a little bit more hardcore than that. It will come. We'll get to that. Don't worry. Uh, I am going to get this military fiber schematic. You guys were quite helpful with that one. Let's purchase. Um, I think everything else is the stuff that we sold at the end of the last episode. Uh, trip wire post. That sounds great. Um, it's just a lot of stuff in this game that I haven't even started looking at yet and is kind of scary, really. I mean, the whole electronic stuff. Um, you know. Anyway, I want to try and get to uh, getting a... Well, thank you very much. And you, sir. I want to try and get a... Um, Cement mixer in at some point. Southwest tier one clear zombies. Let's do it. You got a job for me. All right. Yeah, need a cement mixer. I need one of these as well. I can always come up here and use this one, I guess. But it, you know, it's it's not next to all my inventory. So, uh, shale, oil, shale, and empty can. Gunpowder is coal and nitrate. How do you make coal? Is it possible to make coal, or do you have to just go and get it? Cool. Stack of coal, 6,000. The Art of Mining, Volume 5. Okay, well, that ain't going to happen for a while then, is it? Um, yeah, coal. No idea. No idea. Where the hell do I get coal, guys? Now help me out. I'm sure it's probably like I've got to dig around in fireplaces in these houses or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, right, where's that quest? Is down here again. Oh, okay, we'll do that later. Um... I'll, I'll run along the road and, and get that another time. Let's not worry about that now. Um, it's four o'clock, so we don't have a huge amount of time. Still, I have an empty inventory. Um, plus the bike's inventory as well. So let's find a POI and run that. I Obviously, I still need to just like grind out some levels and stuff. And I know that uh, sometimes building, well, building bases is maybe better for leveling. It's, yeah, there's a debate going on about that. I don't know. Whatever. But, um, yeah, killing zombies is more fun, I think. Uh, the Horde base, in question of that, you guys provided a hell of a lot of feedback on that. Thank you so much. Um, it's, uh, it, the design itself worked fine for the first Horde. It might work fine for the second one um, it, with some modifications. But ultimately, I need to start work on a, on a more long-term Horde base. And it is going to take um, a lot of time and effort and mining and all sorts to do that and uh, in order to do that properly I think I just need a lot of materials and stuff so I think I'm going to spend the early parts of my second week doing this sort of thing and and kind of just raiding POIs and getting stuff because if I can get books schematics and stuff like that I might be able to maybe get some um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Get, get some more schematics for things like electric traps and stuff. Maybe. That would be good. Because uh, I know there are like spinny trappy thing midges dotting around somewhere I can get a spinny trappy thing. Ooh, a wrench. I will use that. I will take them all um, and sell... Why am I... Ah, loot all. Ah, come on, Spanish. What is this, your first day? Um, <laughs> I know I can get spinny death trap things. And also like dart traps and stuff, can't I? And crazy stuff like that. So, yeah, we could definitely really get in that stuff. I'm going to start also collecting the cement and things like that that I've been ignoring up to now um, so that we can start actually building cement blocks because obviously they're a lot hardier and they're going to come in use for our next Horde Night, day 14, which, which I guess isn't going to be too much more difficult than what I got. Probably going to last a little longer. Um, maybe there might be some nastier zombies. Yeah. 
and now I know, of course, <laughs> not to log out in the middle of a horde night. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, who would have thought, right? But here we go. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of looty looties. Um, trying to sort of remember all the stuff that you guys have sent me. Bugger, that was a crap shot, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, there's a big fella. Hi, big fella. Okay. Um, you can die and you can get hit in the face. And then I can arrow you while you're at distance. Oh, he's running. Why is he running? Oh, God. Okay. Don't panic. <laughs> the worst thing you can do in that situation is uh, is panic. Okay. Um, destroyed workbench with a level 5 axe. That will replace my level 4 axe. Very nice. Axe, excellent. Right, I just need to do this whole, the whole rubbish about swapping the mods over and stuff, isn't it? Um, there we go. Gotta be a better way of doing that. Anyway, there we go. And I've got my wrench. I have my wrench, right? Where's my wrench? Oh. Damn it! I don't have my wrench on me. Why don't I have my wrench on me? This is stupid. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to come back and um, sort this out another time. Ugh. That squelched. Did you hear that? I literally just stood on it and it went. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the squelchiest noise. That's disgusting. Okay, I'm not probably not going to be using my blunderbuss anytime soon. I'll take your rotten flesh though, darling. Thank you very much, you smelly, smelly thing. Can I get over there? Not easily. Wow. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it. I can't believe I forgot my wrench. Never mind. I'll come back for this one and wrench down that oh hello switch and uh, another wheel a stone shovel which can be scrap aid um what are these used for used to trigger electrical events when activated i like i like 13 of those i suspect they're going to become quite useful at some point so i will keep i will keep uh, we're going to get some fuel from these barrels lots of fuel from these barrels each one of these barrels Oh, there we go. Okay, the four is one, and da da da. Right. Okay, and I can wrench this bus down as well. I reckon this will give me a good amount of stuff. Um, this isn't a bad little POI, actually. It's going to give me some some stuff. I need to head back and get my wrench because I'm going to otherwise miss out on lots and lots of stuff. This all this stone here can this be can this be stoned? It can be. It can be dismantled. That's lovely. All this stuff can be wrenched down as well. Uh, it's interesting. I've got this um this thing here. Reading schematic will teach you how to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's a socket wrench. Is the socket wrench better? Oh, what's it called? Ratchet. Sorry, ratchet. I need the workbench, and that is forged steel. I think I have some. I don't know if I've got eight, but I think I have some. Duct tape springs, mechanical parts, and steel tool parts. Um, that would be good. If I can get one of those, I think they're better than the wrenches. But uh, do let me know. Now this is this is fun, isn't it? I mean, look at this. There's a bloody cement mix. This is a destroyed cement mixer, and it's got oil shale in it. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mailbox can sometimes contain stomatids. I have been checking them. I've probably cut them out of the video, by the way, guys. And that's probably why you're not seeing me do it. Uh, I have been checking them though, and they've only yielded so far a bit of paper. Okay. This is where I am. Uh, just up from the trader. If I need to go back to my base anyway, I may as well um, head down this road, clear the zombies, and then... Oh, I don't know. Let's see. What would be better? <laughs> head home, then clear the zombies on the way back, get the trader in the morning, reloot this place, and then carry on. Okay. Like, plan. We're going to be into day nine, I think, by the time we've done all that. But there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be, I think, a lot of the sort of same stuff that we were doing, I suppose, in the first week in terms of looting POIs. I do want to take on one of these big ones, though, like that Shamway Food Factory or something, because there are some big juicy POIs here. And I know they're sort of end gamey stuff, but there's like five of them around me. <laughs> I want to at least take one of them down just as kind of an experience, you know, and see what we got. And we might get lucky and get some really decent 
guns or something, um, which will become very, very useful. That big ass Shamway's food factory. I want to take that one down because there's another big ass something or other over there and yeah, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that at some point. Maybe not today, but we're going to do that soon. Um, yeah, and everything else I think is horde base prep. Okay, so I need to pretty much completely dismantle the horde base, how I've got it at the moment. I'm going to dig the pit out even more. So, and the tower I'm going to build even higher. Um, and I need to make sure, like you guys have suggested in the comments, that the zombies can path to me fully. Um, so I'm going to try and get some iron bars in. Uh, so I think because... Uh, you can use them as like shoot down points stuff so I can shoot underneath if they get underneath the tower for whatever reason but I'm going to stick with a sort of tower drawbridge thing and that drawbridge is going to just be like a death field a killing field um and stuff so yeah I just need to make sure that I understand the zombies pathing correctly and what they consider like block a blocked path and what they what they can think they can get through so the problem I think I had was that the spike traps that I put down, they consider that as like non-pathable or something. So that's why they started going for the tower. Anyway, I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? I'm going to pick you up. This terrain between me and the trader is a bloody nightmare. <laughs> as you can see. I can't really get over it. It's really annoying. I get stuck in it all the time. I'm like, ah, I wonder if I can build a tunnel or a bridge or something just to get through it. I don't know. Anyway. Right. I'll head back. Drop all this off, stuff off. Get my wrench. Maybe even build a socket wrench if I can. And then we're going to head up to tier one and clear zombies. Uh, if it's still daylight by then. Um, if we can do it just before night time. But yeah, going to the trader. Obviously, I think he closes at like 10 or something, doesn't he? So... We've got a little bit of a tight schedule. Let's go. Oh, and uh, thank you for all the tips about the mushrooms growing out of walls and stuff. I will correct that. Um, that's another thing I need to obviously spend a bit of time on is... Um, yeah, getting some mushrooms. I've only got six forged steel. How do we make forged steel? Forged steel is iron and clay. Oh, fantastic. How many can we make? Not many because I need more iron. Fuel. And I've only got... 146 in here. Oh man, I really need some iron. Okay, um, I may as well sell these, then I'll keep these on me with the traders, and everything else can just go away. Well, we've uh, we're quickly running out of time here, aren't we? Let's see if we can get this done. Uh, Alright, it's a little cabin house with a, a toilet. Did pass a zombie on the way here. I'm not sure if it's following me. No, I don't think he is. I think he's, he's walking back down that way. Uh, stump! Drink toilet. Nerky water. Alright. Let's do this. There's a downstairs bit. Clear zombies. Let's go, zombies. Let's be clearing you. No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Right, I'm going to do this in a slightly different order. Uh, again, thanks to suggestions made by you yourselves. Um, clear the area first and then loot it because then I can loot the whole thing at once damn it sneaky little bugger uh, let's have some coffee no 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 stupid coffee I need to get used to these shortcut keys as well um, I just not spent much time looking at them if I'm honest right ew up we go then, I guess. There's going to be a lot of zombies up here, isn't there? <coughs> no, there's like one zombie left. This little guy. Clear area. Stay within. Alright, still got some zombies loitering around somewhere then. This is going to trigger them. Can I sneak over these things? Yeah, it does. Sneak over them. It doesn't set them off. <laughs> that was shit. <laughs> Oh wow, I did bang to right, so they still managed to miss. Is that it? No, clear area still up. I just leveled up, that was all. Alright, alright. This isn't a big POI. Oh, it goes up again. Alright, okay. Is 
Hello, fellas. How you doing? Mildred. You look like a Mildred. So I'm going to call you from now on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, not the big white bloomers, man. That's disgusting. Right. Looted. Holy crap. A gun safe. It's locked. I still don't have any freaking lock picks. I know you guys are saying I could just hammer away at it with the pickaxe. Um, you're right. I could. <laughs> it's very boring. Um, a level 5 scrap helmet and another double armor mod pack. Yes. Um, a level 5 bone knife. I don't know. Just scrap that. Everything else I will take. This thing. Um, yeah, I mean... What? It does... 60 points of damage a hit. Eventually I'll get through it. I guess. Yes. You're right. Okay. Um... There's a gun safe here then. I might mark this place on the on the map as uh, a little waypoint to come back to. Um, no, not a quick waypoint. Say waypoint. I don't know. What? Castle? That'll do. Castle. Um, gun safe. There you go. I will come back to it another time when I'm not under pressure to get the hell out of here. Got another cooking pot though. All this stuff can be wrenched down. Why am I giving myself so little time to do this? Oh! Cool. <laughs> oh, yay, a tin. Woohoo. <laughs> Woohoo. Um, it's not locked for long. Bingo. See ya, Chief. Alright. This place is kind of, apart from the gun safe, it's kind of rubbish, really, isn't it? Now the question is, can I get back to the trader in time? What the hell is that? Um, can I get back to the trader in time for him to hand this mission in? Ooh. Forged, forged iron. Forged, forged iron in this. It's nice. Springs, mechanical parts. I don't know what time he trade. I assume he closes at 10 when, when night goes down. He might close at 9. Oh, he hasn't dinged that he's closed. Still says open on the thingy. Still open. Oh, yeah. Come on. Absolute mad lad. Missiony. Shotgun, duck bill mod, or tech junkie volume 4. I don't have a shotgun. Tech junkie. Complete. Dad. May I see your inventory? I have some stuff to sell you. Such as that. Both of those. And that. Yes, thank you very much. Do you want a cooking pot? Five dough It's not really worth it. How about, um, I could repair it. I, I don't have it. Thing on me, just have it. There you go. Done. Cool. Well, that was fun. Good times. How many dukes have I got? 6,000. 6,000 dukes. Next time he um, refreshes, where's the uh, stock refresh? You guys were saying it's somewhere up here. It's ten, day 10. Okay. It's a couple of days and he'll restock and we can come back and have a look. He might have some nice stuff. But we're done. Trader, trader done. Mission done. Um, I could pick up another one another time. I'm not quite. Uh, just interested yet. Yeah. Uh, right, we are going back to that POI earlier and wrenching the crap out of everything and then heading back to base and then I'm going to do a bit of base work stuff. I want more grow plots for food and all that stuff. Oh my god, I just found a lockpick in the dumpster. Next level, absolutely next level. Always check your dumpsters, folks. Always check your dumpsters. I'm going to build myself a second forge. Hells yeah. I've got the parts and uh, current forge is busy smelting away a crap ton of clay and the iron. I want to make some forged steel with this. Um, why can't I make that? Crucible required. Oh. Oh damn. Well, I've not got one of those yet. <laughs> that could be a problem. Okay. Uh, in which case I just need to go and salvage my way to the, the to the steel parts in order to get the the ratchet. I think that the, the, that's going to be a little ways off then in that case. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, at least then I could start making things like iron bars. Centered iron bars. Ooh. I hate that the way that they're separate rather than... Damn, that's irritating. Okay, centered ones I guess would be... Okay, oh, I need both, really, because I want the ones to walk on so I can shoot down, and the ones 
to shoot through horizontally. Oh, I guess just the normal ones. Oh, wow, I can get four of those. Holy moly, that's a lot of iron. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm starting to realize the amount of resources I need now. Um, fortunately, I just spent my skill point in... Um, ooh, mother load. That's what I did. I spent that one in mother load. So we get 20% more stuff now from harvesting. So that's going to help. I really need advanced engineering next. Uh, so that maybe I can unlock the cement mixer. And then, I don't know, I just need everything. <laughs> just need electrocutioner, learn how to make stun batons, um, robotics inventor. I mean, yeah, little robot turrets and stuff like that are become useful, but I think they're fairly low priority at the moment. For day 14, I suspect I'll be able to do it all on my, my own with the guns that I've got. Um, maybe a shotgun would be nice. Uh, but yeah, okay, you... We're making glue, and you've run out of fuel. Okay, well, get back onto it, yeah? Look at all the glue that I'm getting. This is fantastic. You were making bacon and eggs, and you're done. Okay, you can turn off now. Food is another thing. Food is, of course, another thing. Um, oh, the, the bloody grow plots. That's what else I was going to make, wasn't it? I've got, how much rotten flesh have I got? I can make at least another four farm plots. What was that? Rotten flesh, clay soil, uh, nitrate powder. Where are you, nitrate powder? There you are. Let's get you to make those. Farm plots. Four more farm plots. Lovely. Um, the only thing I've really got to plant in these farm plots is corn. Um, the mushrooms. You, you guys said I can plant anywhere, right? So if I grab my mushrooms... Oh, wait, I only had those? Hang on. I swear I can make mushroom seeds. I can. How many can I make? Two. Okay. Make two then. And we can plant these anywhere. Well, in stone. Oh yeah, look at this! <laughs> you, just, you just plant them in the walls! Can I have mushrooms growing out my walls? That's amazing! <laughs> awesome! Amazing, this place is a bit mouldy. It's a bit like, um... <laughs> oh, wow. That's, um... I don't know whether that's great or just gross, you know? <laughs> Get a mushroom growing out of the walls. It's a bit damp and musky in this place, isn't it? <laughs> oh, nice. Never mind. Right. I gotta make some more food then. Just around the corner from uh, my base here is a huge iron deposit. Um, I actually dug down here before. I'm not sure if I got it all out, actually. It seems to go down quite far. Plus, there's another rock here. It's always fun mining in the middle of the night. You never know what zombies are going to come up. But you can actually crouch. And somehow, <laughs> that lessens the noise of, of mining out iron rocks. <laughs> I don't really know how that works. But there we go. So, nighttime seems like a good time, actually, to do some mining, like you guys suggested. After all... Um, it's not like there are many zombies around here in this area anyway because I've spent a lot of time clearing them out looting all the houses around here so I can actually mine in relative peace even at 2am of course you do have to be prepared for the occasional stupid zombie to rock up there you go but it's only like one or two every now and again, so it's fine. I've been down here now most of the night. It's just morning. I've just realized how ridiculously huge this freaking iron vein is. It, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. <laughs> it just keeps on going. I have dug out 2,200 iron now. Just in the, in the few hours of night that I was doing this. And it's still going. And it goes all the way back here as well. Absolute madness, and I assume this is like, you know, just one of many iron veins around. And I keep hitting like stone instead of iron as well. But yeah, I, this is faster. This is a lot faster way of getting iron than salvaging cars and stuff like that. Now, granted, you don't get all like the, the mechanical components and s engines and all the other bits that you get with it. So it's definitely still worth s uh, salvaging cars. But... If you just need, like, a crap ton of iron, this is definitely the way to go about it. 
breaks my heart a little bit taking all this apart but I need to take it all apart to redo it all so I'm gonna smash down all of these spike <laughs> <laughs> so many spike traps to smash down <laughs> ah still I can remake them it's fine I planted an entire forest behind my base so wood is not gonna be a problem is that a loot thingy down there it is as well wow that hasn't despawned yet oh, I'm lucky I am lucky okay I need to get down there and get that loot sack um oh yay some more stone stuff but some ammo at least that's good cool all right back to dismantling all this lot <laughs> what the hell is that oh well hello there why why are you so mad it's a weird goth zombie it's a weird goth zombie Zgothing at me Oh, she did. Ah, oh, okay. I thought she'd be a bit tougher with that. All right, never mind. Um, oh, that's freaky! Freaky goth zombie lady. Why are there more zombies around? Ah, Squirrely. Oh, Squirrely zombie. And Mildred. Squirrely zombie's running. This is illegal. It is daytime. You are not allowed to be... Oh, what the hell is going on here? Mildred's here. And so is... What the hell? Karen? Not you as well. What is going on? Where do these zombies come from? What the hell is going on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, at least they didn't destroy all the spikes before uh, before these guys got here. Oh, my God. I can't hear anything. Fine, clubby. My bow skills are clearly lacking right now. So you're going to have to come out of retirement and uh, start smacking some zombies. All right, Mildred, settle down. What the hell? Where are all these zombies come from? What's going on? Is it just because about my horde base? And it's just like, yeah, okay, it's horde day again. Go away. I'm building. There's another one over there. Can I hit him from here? No. <laughs> That's too high. Boom, headshot. Oh, <laughs> uh, headless zombie. That was weird. All right, maybe I was making a lot of noise. I don't know. Well, I tell you what, destroying these cobblestone blocks or whatever they are. Oh my god, fifteen hundred hit points. They are pretty, pretty gnarly. The the, the flagstone blocks here have already got five hundred, so they're okay. Right, I've started digging out uh, this into a square pit now. I'm going to dig it out a little bit more. I don't know why, but I have I have a sort of... After the Horde Knight uh, last episode, I sort of... I want to get this sorted before I, I carry on. I realise the amount of work that I want to do to it to change it. So I, I realise that there's there's crafting, there's looting to be done, there's levelling up to be done. I mean, you get, you get XP by doing this sort of stuff, so it's not the end of the world. It's fine. But I really want to sort this Horde base out. Uh, before I carry on and do the rest of the stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to relax into the rest of the game before I've I've got this sorted. So <laughs> I'm going to just... Right, what, what the plan is, is I'm going to dig this out into a square rather than a diamond so that I can then make this platform bigger and taller. Um, we're going to go up maybe another three or so blocks high. I'm going to stick with the sort of entrance... Uh, sort of ramp thing that the drawbridge style thing that the zombies have to come along but obviously taking into account all of the advice that you guys have given me about pathing so that the zombies can definitely get to me or, or they think they can along this route here I have got iron hatches and iron bars and I'm going to probably open this up so it's maybe three wide uh, and so that I can sort of stand either side of a hatch here and fire down into the death corridor as it were through iron bars. Meanwhile, the zombies will get up to a hatch or, or iron bars and stuff and get stuck there and they might have to try and attack their way through or whatever. The pit, again, will be filled with, with spikes and iron spikes, but I'm also going to build a wall around it so that they do not path through uh, the spikes. However, 
if later on I can secure some of those robot sledges or something like that, I can put them on this bridge and push the zombies off the edge. Now, as long as I've put some stairs up on one of these sides, the zombies can then hopefully figure out that, they, that it's better for them to go up the stairs and back round again than to try and carve their way through the tower, which, you know, will be surrounded in spike traps. So uh, it's the same, same. So basically the same design as what I've got already, just somewhat improved, hopefully, uh, and and exaggerated. And, and hopefully that will be enough for not only night... Uh, uh, 14, um, day 14, Horde Night, but the Horde Night after that, and the Horde Night after that, up to the point where we're going to start needing um, lots and lots of traps and stuff, like the spinny, the spinny wheels of death, and the dart guns, and the shotgun turrets, and all that stuff, which will come in time. Uh, for the moment, however, I've got a lot more digging to do, and I've got a I've got to dismantle the little things on that tower to make it taller and, and all stuff. So, yeah, I got a lot of uh, work ahead of me. Good morning. There appears to be a wandering horde wandering by. I don't know if this guy has spotted me. It's entirely possible he has because he seems to be coming this way. Yeah, he spotted me. All right, he spotted me. He's coming. He's coming. All right. I haven't really got a gun. I've got all stuff. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Clubby. Clubby. Dead zombie. Right. Hopefully the other ones didn't spot me. Oh, here we have it. It's taking me all the night and a little bit of the morning. But I uh, finally got it in a state where I think I'm ready to show you what I'm planning next horde base so uh, very very easy and obvious path for the z's to run along they will come up this ramp and the other one on the other side come up to here and then straight over to me i will be behind two iron hatches one will be right here the other one will be right here um, i'm hoping two is enough um, if i can find a robot sledge i will put a middle block in here uh, and place the robot sledge in the middle that will knock them left and right down into the pit below um, and slow them down and also between so there's only going to be one block uh, passable up, up these uh, ramps and stuff so in the middle blocks here I'm going to put a bunch of iron spike traps or barbed wire I haven't decided yet and down on these platforms as well are going to be uh, either spike traps or barbed wire and down here uh, as well just to sort of slow them down uh, kind of thin them out a little bit and then of course obviously the pit will be filled with spikes um, preferably iron as well um, so I'm going to put more bars uh, above the ones that are there but I've got bars uh, on the floor as well so I can shoot down I, I've messed this bit up here these bars are on the inside so I can't actually put any there so I've got to be careful not to fall down those gaps there um, but I'm able to shoot down there if they do come up to the tower I've got sight over them and stuff uh this is my way in and out so on horde night these hatches will be up so that they cannot get across there um and hopefully they won't path there or try and jump that way if they do of course um then i i can shoot them from here as well uh and down it again into the pit this hatch will obviously be closed uh, i've got roof access another hatch on the roof and bars on the roof in case we get um vultures and stuff I can go up there as well if uh, if I get overrun down here and, and, you know, there's only maybe a few zombies left. I do need to do some upgrading. These are wood bars here. They need to be iron. Um, and up there are all wood bars as well. They need to be iron. And, of course, I need some more iron hatches. So I do need to go out and get some more iron. But I am in a much happier state now knowing that this thing is pretty much ready to go. I'll be it bar maybe some final touches. The hatches, of course, which are key. Uh, and always the spikes on the bottom there, which just requires a lot of iron. Also, we're going to upgrade these ramps also to uh, the cobblestone as well. And I'm going to need more stone to do that and I think clay, I've probably got enough, 2,400. So I should be able to get that done. But yeah, um, 
day 10, I'm in a much happier place knowing that the, the Horde base, I've done a bunch of work on it and now I can kind of relax for the rest of the week and go and enjoy some POIs, some looting and general shenanigans. So on day 14 or, or sort of day 13 to 14, I can put the final touches on here with all the iron and stuff that I've looted and, and acquired. <sighs> And uh, yeah, get ready for another horde night. There's some room in here for some uh, boxes and storage boxes as well. So I can uh, bring over some extra ammunition and whatnot. Uh, these thin blocks here, I'm not sure about these. Um, but I'm not really sure, other than building another column up, uh, what to do about that really. Uh, but I've got plenty of space in here to move around, maneuver, um, you know, and I've got, you know, signs to defend and stuff. But there is a very obvious and easy path for the zombies to come at me, uh, which is directly ahead, which is where they should. Once I've got the hatches up, I should be able to take them out. And I've got stuff to shoot down as well. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I sort of messed up placing some of the iron bars, as you can see, and now they're 2,500 hit points to get rid of the bloody things, so... Uh, <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of hammering uh, to move these ones out of the way. Um, I'm probably just going to build more of them, to be honest, just build more bars. Uh, but yeah, there we go. My little... Um, I'm going to call it the birdcage. I'm going to call it the birdcage. This is my horde base. Um <laughs> Time will tell. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If there's any glaring holes in there and, uh, you know, so you're going to save me a lot of pain and trouble and embarrassment, then please do share. Let me know. <laughs> now I've got to go out and find a robotic sledge uh, that I could put in there. That's going to help knock the zombies off the air, uh, off the sides here, uh, so that I don't get absolutely overwhelmed at the, uh, at, at the bars here. I could, in fact, put another bar across there and increase to three hatches, maybe. That would be quite cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, completely just switched the POI around. The the entrance that was before is now my, my exit route. Um, but otherwise, same pit, same POI, just taller. And uh, hopefully a little bit better pathing. But, uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, do let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be interested in your expert opinions. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.